So before we get started with the tune today, I will, this is a week before the tune, I will be tidying up some things on the air intake because uh, when I'm at a stop, it'll idle at, it's supposed to idle at either 500 or a bit above. But with the air intake that I have on it, I forgot the name of it. I'll post a picture right here on the front. Uh, I don't have the name of it. I forgot it, but the I forgot what they're called, but the things connecting the intakes to the filter, well, I'll just show you. So I'm going to be taking the air filter off, uh, replacing this with a more better quality. I'm pretty sure if we go to AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts, they're not better quality, but it's gonna be better than this right here. So that being the case, I'd have to unscrew these, these two right here, and that's basically it. Oh, yeah, and before disconnecting the air intake, I will be unplugging the battery. It's not needed, but it's highly recommended. So I'm gonna do that first and then take out, I still can't figure out the name, but I'll take out that piece. So you can't really see it. I wish I can zoom in, but you can see the edges are being eaten up. And I would get closer, but I can't focus, but um, there's a bunch of little cracks in it. And so I just wanna get this replaced and obviously, and obviously when you go to, a dyno, you want to push as much power as you can without any situation or any problem. Well, it's not a big problem or a big situation that we need to worry about, but I would like to push as much power as I can. With that being said, I'm going to head over to AutoZone, maybe Advanced Auto Parts and pick me up one of those tube looking things. can still figure out the name and then, and then head back, install it, reinstall it, and we should be good. I thought since might as well I'm already down here, I went ahead and took off the tube that was connected to the air filter and took it off, but it's stuck in there. The only way I can get it out is by taking off the bumper, which I do not like doing. Uh, the reason why I want to be doing that is because I want to be putting on these little protectants from the water or wallet. So this is supposed to be water resistant. Um, I, and then considering how much it rains here, which is raining, well not raining right now, but considering how low I am and considering how much rain it rains here, um, I did have a situation back in back in the past where, uh, long story but short, uh, there's too much water that got into it and so the car ended up turning off on me while I was driving. Um, it wasn't as bad, I didn't flood the internals or anything internally. I'm gonna attempt to put one of these on and so without taking out the bumper so we'll see how that goes so instead of trying to put it on through here i actually took off the over fender or the underlining and i got it out through here so and it actually fit perfectly with that being done i'm actually pretty glad that this was able to fit because these things actually work in the rain and if you want to really test these out run it through the sink for a little bit and it actually works so that's done now i just need to replace this thing right here which we're gonna go to autozone right now and cop us one of these i didn't really get the right length for it i may have to return it but i think i can finesse it in somehow i'm gonna see how this works maybe i can push in the tubes a little bit closer uh, but we'll see how it works so it didn't, it didn't end up fitting uh, probably because, or most likely because this curves in is much bigger in length. So, but it was only 10 bucks. Um, I'll probably set this over here. Um, so I'm actually gonna be put, putting this back probably, possibly a little bit more tighter. So that way I don't idle a little bit under 500 RPMs or it doesn't sound like it's gonna turn off on me. So I'm gonna reinstall this and then, but I actually am satisfied that this was able to fit on here. Um, so now I can go hydroplaning, just kidding. So now I can just reinstall this where I took off the fender lining and then stick this back on the air filter and we should be good. Other than that, I'll see you guys in a minute. The tune will actually be next week, but for you, it'll just be a minute. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay. Alright guys, so 
today we're finally tuning the car. If everything goes well, then yes we are. But hopefully we won't run into any other problems. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna head over to the shop and hopefully get this car tuned. All right, so we made it to the shop. Uh, right now we have the TT on the dyno. We're gonna do, I guess, we're just, I mean, it's on the dyno, so uh, everything seems to look all good, uh, especially from our last situation. So, and it's obviously, uh, the ECU is obviously communicating with the transmission. He did pull right now and it changed gears just fine. Uh, so right now, I guess I'm just waiting on the tune and I guess I'll, so I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. We're in the 200s now, 200s. It's actually the next day. I got home and I was really tired and so I decided to knock out. Um, but as far as the tune goes, it went really well. Uh, made about 200 horsepower, 207 horsepower. So that's a good thing. So this is what I have done to the car. So these clips that go into the injectors were replaced. I left them there just in case I wanted to go back to 93. Um, and obviously we got the injectors, 550cc injectors and the fuel pump was replaced. All that with air intake, headers, and stock exhaust. Actually, before I close out the video, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, driving back with the TC was actually made a huge, the E85 made a huge difference. From E85 by itself, I was pushing about 196, I think, or 194, I don't know, around there. And once I got the tune, I gained about uh, 15 more horsepower, which is pretty good, and 191 torque. So it's pretty good. Once I drove back, I did a couple pulls and you can literally see the car lift or you can feel the car lift up because all the gas, all the 85 is coming going to the front tires. But with that being the case, I'm pretty sure I missed something. So if you guys want to comment down below, what do you want to know? Uh, just let me know or DM me on Instagram. I'll link it down below. But thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.